Well, guys, we are coming to you today, not necessarily from the field per se, we are in the office, but it has so much to do with what you need to be doing out there in the field. Before we go over to Nick's office and, and, and share with you what it is he's doing exactly, I wanna share a quick story with you. Not more than a couple months ago, my dad, who's 70 years old and had never killed a turkey before in his life, we got him out on one of our Hunt, Learn, Compete events with us up at the Bearded Buck, and he was able to get his first turkey, and we captured it all on film, a memory that will obviously last a lifetime far beyond his his lifetime and my lifetime but more so it was a it was a moment that i cherish so much having on film and when we copied that footage from the card onto a hard drive and i later went to go use that hard drive not more than an hour later i realized that that hard drive had froze up or it had mal malfunctioned and i had this sick feeling in my gut as if I just lost that footage. That's all gone. And thankfully, thankfully, the cameramen that we had working on that shoot were on the ball and they were backing stuff up. And because of them, because of that, I still have that memory. We still have that footage here today. So let's walk over to Nick's office and hear a little bit more about what he's doing here today. What's up, Nick? How are you? Good. What do you got going on, man? Well, we just got done shooting a commercial for the Bearded Buck, so our next step is putting it in its appropriate spot. And, of course, one of the more important things is backing it up. So, if you want to come here, we got our two cards here. This is our FS7 card. This is our A7S card. It's a two-camera shoot. So what I've done here is I've created two folders in our Bearded Buck commercial. We have our A7S folder right there. And our FS7 folder right there. And we've dumped the footage into the appropriate folders. Now the elements folder and the VO folder, those were elements we had built for the shoot and the VO, our voiceover folder that we actually had built for the shoot as well. So now that we had these two cards in one hard drive, we should be good, right? Well, that's why we're doing this because we're showing you that that's absolutely wrong. We've, we've had some close calls in the past. I know Tom's had a close call with his dad's turkey footage. We need to make sure that we have this folder, this whole bearded buck commercial with all the, all the video in there in two spots, two different hard drives. So once I have all of this stuff into one hard drive, one folder, which in this case is that bearded buck commercial folder, I want to do a copy and paste of that whole folder to another hard drive. That way it ensures us that we have it in two spots. When, when we go on trips, you'll see we always have two hard drives with us. And not because we need the extra space on each hard drive, but because we have to make sure that everything on five is on six, everything on one is on two. So I know I got a bunch of hard drives here. You'll see, it's a good example actually. I got a 2016 four. 2016-5. So I'll bet at some point these two hard drives were in the same camp with each other and stuff that went on four would also be copied on five. The last thing we do before we go to bed each night is make sure that we have all of our footage on two separate spots. That way, God forbid, this hard drive gets thrown out the window of a car for some reason or we lose it on a flight, whatever may happen, we have this footage in two spots. So that's a very very simple thing that most people don't take the time to do and it's probably if you're producing a television show I'll guarantee it's one of the most important things you can do.